New developments tonight on the Wyandotte Elementary School cell phone tower controversy. After hearing from angry parents for the past several weeks, the school superintendent submitted her resignation. Fox News' Dave Kinchin joining us live with more on reaction to the news. And this has really been controversial since the start, Dave. Yeah, it was a real big moment, that's for sure. You know, for the last several weeks, these meetings have really largely been the same. Parents have been sounding off, board members sounding off. At one point, the police were even called. But tonight was interesting when this happened. Member Martinez? Yes. Member Tarnowski? Yes. Member Weber? Yes. President? Yes. Motion carries unanimously. Many Wyandotte parents call it the biggest break for them yet. School Superintendent Dr. Catherine Cost stepping down. The Board of Education says that's fine with them after weeks of heated wrangling over the 5G cell phone tower on top of Washington Elementary. The announcement coming right before board members went into their second executive session of the night where they could talk privately with their legal team about their next steps. But parents could not stop celebrating the latest one. I think it's really exciting news um, for Wyandotte Public Schools, um, for the kids, for the teacher, for the local community. I think it's a great decision. I'm hoping they uh, find somebody to fill her shoes that will put our children first and um, be a positive light in this district. We've been waiting for this day for some time now. Attorney Josh Castmore, one of the biggest organizers of tower opposition, sees a stronger signal that change can happen with the superintendent gone. I believe that she's been a huge barrier in us getting something done here. Um, I believe that she dropped the ball at every step along the way um, from 2018 when this contract was signed up through, you know, as of yesterday. So I am I am very happy that we seem to be moving in the right direction. There's been scores of heated meetings with clashes between parents and board members over the installment of the tower and the deal, which pays the district about $1,000 a month. One state lawmaker said he's introducing measures to ban cell towers from ever being installed at schools. And three weeks ago, T-Mobile and Tower Project partners walked out on parents worried that radio frequency waves from the tower might cause cancer. Stand before us and answer our questions. We're not going to hurt you. Trust me. We just want to talk to you guys because we've been waiting to. Independent expert analysis of the cancer question is inconclusive, but it's not stopping parents from moving ahead, demanding the board scrap the contract with T-Mobile, even as district officials warn that could cost taxpayers millions of dollars. My position has always been that T-Mobile's been in breach of this contract since the day it was signed. They're not in compliance with our city ordinances here. Um, they are also not, uh, they, they also didn't provide the board with the information that they needed in order to make an informed decision in signing the contract. So that's where we stand now. The lawyers likely getting more involved in the days and weeks ahead, talking with parents or the parents trying to talk to them about getting rid of that contract or the prospect of doing so. In the meantime, parents say they're relieved that that tower is still inactive at this point. We're live in Wyandotte, Dave Kinchin on the edge. Well, Dave, in terms of the future of that tower, is there any possibility? I mean, there was a contract signed. Is there even a chance that they were able to break that? Yeah, it's a big question. I mean, the district, several board members have said that it could cost a lot of money, millions of dollars if there is a breach of a contract there. But you heard Mr. Casmore there, an attorney himself, who says that T-Mobile, he believes, is already in violation. So that makes that contract null and void. In his view, mm. we'll see where this goes, especially as uh, a court may end up deciding all of this. Well, parents are certainly seeing movement, and uh, we could see they were some very pleased tonight. Thank you, Dave, for that report.